Alright, I got this. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Trindamir Otacon. Going to be our last meme tier deck of the day. Uh, this deck here is going to be one like where we're going to be playing defensively with Freljord and Noxus. Kind of similar to this Swain Sejuani deck we played yesterday. Mostly all Freljord though, using Blighterveen, Avalanche, Ice Shard, that kind of stuff early. Um, staying alive with Kindly Tavern Keeper. But we're going to have a different topic. We're going to be trying to get the Scar Grounds in play so that whenever our allies survive damage, they get tough and they're able to get the plus one, plus zero. And that can work great with our, our Ravine Avalanche Ice Shard stuff that we're, that we're talking about because, you know, uh, they'll be able to survive damage, get the tough, and start adding on to the power. And once we add on to the power, you know, then we'll have our Braum, Tarkaz, Trundle, Scar Mother, especially Scar Mother. All these things have more and more power thanks to the Scar Grounds. And so then whenever we play Otacon and bring the Ruin, it will attack and it will be able to get really, really large because all of our units will have more power thanks to the Scar Ground. So that's the thinking here. Tarkaz is in here that can, like once we have the Scar Grounds will be an awesome thing to attack with and, you know, be able to use the bonus with the Scar Grounds. But if we don't have the Scar Grounds, we can just sit back and block. This is being a five mana five eight is a wonderful blocker. And so that's its role in the deck. Um, and because, you know, we want to survive because we don't have any ramp. So we actually have to get to round 10 before we can cast Otacon, round 8 before we can cast Trindamir and stuff like that. Feel the Rush, you know, we'll put in two of these champions. I don't know exactly which two, but we'll put in two of those champions um, and turn them into 10-10s. Should be pretty sweet. Um, we got a couple of Scar Mothers in here being able to survive damage and then get very, very large for the Otacon. And that's kind of it. And then early on, it's just, it's just defense. Ruthless Raider is a card that is a really good blocker especially against like blade dance and stuff like that having the tough um, but then is also like pretty good with ice shard and, and nice with troll chant also so it's just a good blocker there and then sentry will get us some card draw ravenous flock and scorched earth help kill things that we dealt damage to with our different area of effect damage cards and then three sisters is um just very very good in the late game that you can uh use in different different ways so very versatile you know, whether you need to flash freeze fury or in tomb they are all very useful so that's going to be our deck let's give it a try trindamir otacon will be going on over to normal and playing five games over there so we have karma and um auction <laughs> it's tough we have otacon they have auction okay <laughs> they put those together it's not a bad hand. The Ravine... Ravine can kill an auction. I think I'm going to send it back, though, and I'll keep Sentry Tavern Keeper. I don't know. I could see keeping that Ravine. Depends whether or not they will have auction. Which they do. This land is ours. Villains beware. Hmm. Hoping they'd be scared of Elixir of Iron or Brittle Steel. They were not. Leave nothing oh, standing. Now I wish I would have played the Avaros and Sentry first. Cool eye You like it? I mean shut up and fight! Nothing escapes my watch. Scorch Earth is pretty interesting. Look out for Reavers. Of being able to be able to destroy this Warlord's Palace. Man, but all they have to do is have any one card that targets to stop that. Fixing the world one scoundrel at a time. 
Yeah, it's just too risky to play Scorch Earth there, so we'll have Scorch Earth for this thing. The Winter's Claw! Not a chance. We're, we are in a tough spot. This will take the chill off. This is justice. We are in a tough spot. Not sure exactly what they got. You know, slow, fast burst. Not, exa not exactly sure. Dang. Man, I, I just I just need to blow this up earlier, I guess. Yeah, because that, that thing counts down so fast. Now I just need two spells whatsoever to target that. Dang, this was a, a... Huh. This is a game where, like, my patience... I was pretty patient in, a, like, a lot of things in this game, and it really backfired being so patient. Now we are... Yeah, now the game's over, so... Uh, lesson learned, I guess. Yeah, so I was all... I was much too patient with everything. GG's. Alright, that auction. I should have started off by just blocking with the... You know, not blocking with my 2-1, blocking with the 3-1 tough. Whenever I did the troll chant, immediately. Just... Basically every decision I made ended up being wrong. Not basically. Literally every decision. That'll happen, though. Okay, now this is a Scorched Earth matchup. I really hope we can find both Scorched Earths like we did last time. All those other cards don't really matter. They have the round one Frozen Thrall. It's going to put a lot of pressure on us. we got to find Scorched Earth as fast as possible now. We were not able to find it. Come on, we gotta find it. Scorched Earth. Hmm. Would have been nice to have that Scar Grounds last round. How can Brom help? Come on, Scorched Earth. Don't love doing this, but I would rather do this than they get multiple 8-8s. Eight Alright, I wish we had both of these hands completely changed. <laughs> you know, like we had the, all the cards that we had last game 
have this game and and vice versa. But sometimes the game is as easy as do you draw Scorched Earth or not? And our answer was not. We'll at least get some damage in on this thing. I wanted to play Trundle, didn't want to do this. My goal is to have Ravenous Flock kill the Draklorn. This thing's just a better blocker. They want to, they want to clear the space up. I need to play the this round of slot right now so that I can potentially play the field of rush next round. I guess I'm not even killing the Draklorn. Sometimes your opponent has a better hand than you do. That was this this game. They had their cards that matter. They had uh, yeah, like those promising futures and everything. And I did not have a scorched earth. Shadow Isles Demacia again. Most likely means. Uh, the Spectral Matron Cythria combo. Even though we can go really big, it doesn't really get any bigger than Spectral Matron Cythria. That's kind of the biggest thing in the game. Hey, what's up? Komodi uh, Bender says, been following you on YouTube. Nice decks. Well, thank you so much. Glad glad you came on over here and said hi. We on our we are on our last deck today. We're back tomorrow in ranked with uh, more viewers made donation decks and stuff like that. And... All right, let's... Let's just simply pass. My thinking here is that I'm gonna have the mana for Ice Shard available to kind of go along with Braum. All right, they definitely want to sacrifice stuff, right? So do I let them? Yeah, I guess I let them. Okay, well now they're going to be drawing cards. I can keep them from drawing cards now. But I just traded with two cards, right? Like I traded with their one drop and the Glimpse Beyond. Got two for one. Please attack. Why, didn't, why aren't you attacking? Scorched Earth will show up in every other game. It's just not the game that we need it. But it will be happy to show up otherwise. The This one damage is going to kill the Spirit Leech. I don't have to worry about... really don't have to worry about my Braum dying to kind of anything. Like, Black Spear doesn't kill Braum. Single Combat doesn't kill Braum. 
Sharp Sight? Sharp Sight kills Brom. Yeah, Sharp Sight would have killed Brom. I was thinking just removal spells, though. Three more rounds before we can play Feel the Rush. For king and country. You can see the Demacian border from here. That's what happens. At least happy to get single combat out of their hands. It's a, val a valuable removal spell that they just used on um, on a not valuable card. Yeah. This allows me to keep both three sisters available, which both both three sisters are, or just like be able to keep them in hand. Both three sisters are, are really valuable. Um, I was kind of planning on using Scorched Earth, but I think I'd rather have Scorched Earth than Ice Shard if I choose one of those two. Yeah, we did waste all of our luck on the pike deck today. <laughs> That's where we used all of our luck. Man, so close to killing them. I shouldn't have played this Tavern Keeper, I guess. Like, Ruin... Okay, it's not Ruination. Ruination's not the plan. I want to just Entomb the Viego. But if I do that... I can't play Field of Rush next round, and I really want to play Field of Rush next round. I guess I'll just pass, see, what, see what's up. What? Don't you want to play the ephemeral one? Did they just miscast that? I think they just missed. Yeah, they just misplayed that. They want to play the ephemeral one because then it will die and then they'll get another blocker the next round. See? Trust, Brom. Trust Brom. For sure. We play. We play like all the champions, so I spread the wealth out on my champion mastery. Ye correct. Lava Legends does not. Add mastery, unfortunately. See, we can't just do the fizz, fizz lab legend, and have all the mastery then. I don't know exactly what I'm looking for, but these look like reasonable cards. Scar grounds on three. Wait for them to play Tarek on four, then Avalanche after Tarek. And then have Ravenous Flock. Alright, well I guess I guess we just got Wasn't part of the plan. Well I guess that's what we're gonna do to take the free for one. Even though it wasn't the OG plan. Scar grounds. I'm ready to shine. To protect all. How about a another scar grounds? Nah, we should probably just play this town keeper. I don't know. Kinda wanna play another scar grounds. 
have like two scar grounds to go along with Verena. Nah, I guess the second scar grounds just isn't nearly as valuable as the I was just making it out to be. I was kind of hoping they would just like pass priority and then I could also pass and have them waste all their mana. Which I could still do. Oh, but now you're going to copy the Pell Cascade over. Unyielding. The Scar Mother does not yield. I probably should have made I should have made that block. Yeah, because now they get to kill my Verena. Or close to it. I should have made that block. But I guess it worked out. They didn't kill Verena. Trindamir! Are we gonna play one of our two namesake cards? Trindamir. For my father, the king. Protect the faithful. Pity is for the weak. I'm honestly pretty surprised they attacked. Ours is but to do and die. No quarter. Okay, we're going to have Scar Mother attack. They can still have Hush. They couldn't Hush to... Like, Hush would not have saved Jarvan, but they could still Hush and save... Oh, no, I was going to cast Trindamir first, though. I, I was going to cast Trindamir. I was like, you know what? We're, we're playing it. Because Hush would keep them alive. Oh, man. Didn't get to Trindamir. Shivana Viego. Do y'all think that I should do Casual Friday? We've talked about it a few times before. Um... But uh, those of y'all on YouTube were just talking about ties and stuff, but do y'all think that I should do uh, casual Friday where I just wear like a polo, like a golf polo on Fridays instead of a dress shirt and tie? I I don't know. I kind of want to keep all those, but I also kind of want to mulligan them. It's tough. My first ever job was at a minor league ballpark. I uh, just you know, did a couple of things. I, w I was either like a ticket taker at the gates, you know, like where you scan the tickets and stuff. I did that or usher in the stands. Did that. I was, I was 16. That was my first job. It was a brand new uh, like team and stadium and ballpark and stuff. So they they needed fans. So that was my summer job. So that was really cool. You know, I get to watch some baseball and stuff for, for work. Okay. Nothing to do. I don't know if the ice shard's worth the mana. I serve my people with pride. How can Rome end? Taking seven down to nine. Gross. You gotta do what you gotta do. Sometimes you gotta take a lot of damage.
cool. Alright, so we got a bunch of damage on the Shivana. It is at 11 out of 12 now. Wonder if that's concerted strike. It is. So if I go Ice Shard. Yeah, that still kills the Braum. So I use Ice Shard and Troll Chant. Okay. But for Braum's at 7. If I want Braum to level up, it will still level up. Okay, it'll still do 3. Perfect. Now we have leveled up Braum. Yeah, baseball is definitely one of my favorite sports. Yep. Yeah, so that was really cool. That was a really cool first job. My next job was at Staples, the office store. And that was also pretty fun. I actually had a lot of fun there. You know, just like stocking shelves and helping the customers. Challenge at this thing because I have the ravenous flock to kill the viper worm. So no, I no I didn't wear ties at work early. No, that wasn't until after college. Um, I became a teacher, and that's whenever I started wearing ties. I wanted to hold on to uh, Ravenous Flock because it's a card that can help me kill Viego more than what Ishar would have would have helped with. Uh, but how do I kill this Viego? I guess it's going to be it going to be a team effort. Yes, out of corn. Cool. Troll chance good. No. Oh, Viego's despair. Gross. So while I could ice shard, the ice shard just kills like the curse keeper, which gives them an encroaching mist and everything. I don't really want to do that. I fight another day. Join me in battle. In battle. Instead, we're gonna play this Trinity. That's gonna try to kill them. Alright, the dragon's gonna screech. Alright, so they want stuff to die. Battle. Other option, of course, is like we can we can start by playing a couple of tavern keepers and like heal the mighty Poro, so it can also attack because it can't attack because of the Tarkaz. But I think I just attack like this, I guess. You cannot stop me. You cannot stop me. You can only hope to contain me. Still puts them down to two. Oh yeah, I guess then we only do eight to them, don't we? Well, it's definitely not worth playing the ice shard to only deal one di one extra damage. If I if I do this and this, still puts them to one either way. Uh, 
Oh wait. Right. Blighted Ravine. Okay. Okay. Alright, I got this. Alright, so they gotta be worried about, you know, controlling the board and everything, trying to kill me, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to flock this VA go, hope they, like, play more more cards or spend more mana. See, love, like that, right? Get them to spend more mana, and then try to have Aishar plus Blighter Ravine kill them. Like, maybe they play another VA go here. That would be cool. Or Shivana. All right, this better work. Get a win, finish with the three, two. G to the G. Lighted Ravine. Good job, Trinity Beer. Okay, got the win. They never stood a chance. That's right. Yeah, and we got our Trind Trindamir Mastery going up. That's true. We got our Trindamir Mastery going up some. Because don't play very much Trindamir. This is... I know this is now a little bit more Master than the other champions, but this is probably my least played champion out of all of them for just how long it's been around for how little I've played it. I know, like, like Fizz is also there, but I, I've played a good amount of Fizz before, you know, before the Mastery stuff came out months ago, where I haven't really played that much Trindamir. Tridomir just seems like it kind of takes up a champion slot. This is what we were talking about at the beginning, you know, like, while we were building the decks. It kind of takes up a champion slot where you can just play another 8-mana card. Like, if you want an 8-mana card, you can play one, right? Like, you can play Captain Farron. Is there really a difference between Tridomir and Captain Farron? Not really. <laughs> you know, that's the, that's the thing about Tridomir. You can just play a different 8-mana card and you're, you're fine. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I, I didn't do that one very much. The Trindamir, uh, Trundle, Feel the Rush deck. That deck was good. That deck was good. All right, so good showing here for Trindamir Otacon. I have to say some things I really liked about the deck is I liked having Scargrounds, Braum, Tarkaz. I actually, I liked that together. The, the Tarkaz just in general performed really well for us, especially with the Scargrounds and Braum. Um, but, you know, just being a 5-8 blocker, but attacking with that. I liked having that Tarkaz in here. Scarmother was... Uh, Verena was pretty cool. We only had like one game with it, but it it showed out and that Trindamir that last game uh, Did some cool stuff, too. Unfortunately, we did not get to bring the ruin We almost did a couple of times like where we like we're gonna be able to play Otacon But the game ended a little before you know either, either way before we were able to Otacon um, Didn't draw our Scorchers the one game when we needed to <laughs> game two and game one uh, I was just too patient on all the removal that we had, but um, yeah, this is a very good three sisters metagame. People, you know, put a bunch of pump spells and stuff on like one threat. The three sisters just having the versatility to do different things. It's it's been a very good card in this metagame, and then having a lot of removal for decks that are going wide with Ravine, Avalanche, Ice Shard, and some flocks that can trade up. Those are always a good way to win as well. So. You know, successful deck, 3-2 record. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave those comments as well and let me know how y'all like the deck. And uh, if, you know, if you try it out yourself, how it goes for you. Got other ideas for next week's Meme Tier Monday, feel free to put them uh, down there in the comment section or anything else. You know, join the stream. Uh, love to hear from y'all. But that's going to be it here for Trindamir Otacon. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.